Okay, thank you, Jesus. Father God, uh, I know there's eight people here that need to come up. We're going to take our thoughts captive tonight, and those are the thoughts of those spirits, mental illness spirits hiding in their brain. They're hiding in the frontal lobe. And we're going to route those things tonight. And enormous repentance is going to occur, occur tonight, Lord. And I know that's going to make you happy. And we want to make you happy. We want to please you. As Jesus said, I always do those things that please him. And I pray tonight, Lord, any person here who has a demonic symptom, either in their brain or their body, I'm praying for them right now that tonight that thing comes out once and for all. If there's anyone here that has schizophrenia or hears voices and they don't have full-blown schizophrenia yet, the voices just started, quiet little voices, I pray, Lord, that you will give them divine insight that you've allowed that to manifest because you want that thing out of there. And I'm asking you for the Holy Ghost anointing tonight to help your people because there's many people here who have great ministries ahead of them, tremendous ministries, healing ministries, and they cannot receive those ministries until they get these things out the demons from their parents the demons from their spouses the demons from their exes the demons from all the heartache and disappointment they've gone through the demons from bullying in school all these spirits have to be removed including the ones that went dormant the ones that hide They must come out. And I pray for tonight, every person here that's already in the ministry, they're already in some kind of ministry, I'm praying that they get delivered tonight so they can receive the ministry of their destiny, the destiny ministry, the one ministry you've called them to and which the purpose of their life. They have a purpose in life. These spirits must be removed. I thank you, Lord, that your love and your mercy allows this to happen. Grace covers us because we believe in the blood of Jesus and the cross of Calvary and the empty tomb. They're all ours. They're all ours tonight. In Jesus' name. Now, if you were diagnosed with something, come on down here and see me now. We're going to take a shot at these demons. You got a diagnosis. If you know you have demonic symptoms like anger or lust, those other demons I was talking about, they just suddenly manifest like that. Sometimes they just click like within a second. You can feel them in your stomach or your chest or something. Yeah, those, those will come out quickly and easily if you repent. They'll come right out. Yeah. If you've got kundalini demons, you've got religious delusions of grandeur, and you've been getting these wild thoughts about this, you're going to be a take over Reinhard Bonnke's ministry or something. That is some spirit in your head trying to get you to ignore him and go on to this grandiose, gasping Reinhard Bonnke ministry. It's all a demonic delusion, okay? It's a delusion. Reinhard Bonnke didn't start out preaching in Africa. He started out preaching in his neighborhood to two people. Okay, that's, that's how this works. All right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you have any kind of demonic symptom there, he's hiding in your body there. You have the authority and the legal right the legal right to call that thing out right now. You got the legal right to do it if you will repent. Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me right now. Have mercy on me, Lord. 
And this anger thing, this lust thing, it just pops in. I can kind of feel it down here in my groin, my tummy. I can feel him. I command you to come out right this second. Come out. Here they come. The Holy Ghost moving now. Here he comes. Spirit, I command you to come out of my body. I know the symptoms. You made me angry last week, and I command you by the authority of the Word of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you now to come out of my body right this second. Right this second. Anger. Rage. The urge to choke somebody. That's what Brother Mike said. He said, do you feel like an urge to choke somebody? And it just came up quickly. Bang! You come out of my body right now, you spirit of anger. You spirit of lust. All of a sudden, you had a surge of sexual desire. When you looked at somebody, you looked over there and bang, it hits you quickly. That is a lust demon. That is a lust demon. Spirit, I command you right now. I remember when you did that to me. I remember. You remember when you had anxiety and then you thought, oh my God, I got to get something to eat. I got to get something to eat. You had anxiety and then you had a rush for food. Your appetite suddenly manifested. That is a spirit. That is a lust spirit. You remember when that happened? You can call him out right now. I command you, you food spirit, you food addiction. I command you right now. I got anxious the other day and then I had a uncontrollable urge to get something to eat, something to drink, something to snort, something to something to stick myself with that urge came over me that is a spirit I know it is and I command you in Jesus holy name I command you to come out right now I want you out right now come now saith the Lord come now let us reason together saith the Lord though your sin be as scarlet they shall be white as so snow though they be red like crimson Though they be red like crimson. They. <coughs> Come on now. Just repent of it. You got you had anxiety last week and you suddenly, instantaneously had an urge to masturbate or go to porn. You had anxiety and then you had an urge to go to porn. An urge to go to food. That. That is a spirit. That is a spirit. He manifested in your body. You got to get angry at him. You got to turn on him. You got to attack him right now. You got to attack him right now. You had stress. Then you had an urge for porn. You had stress. Then you had an urge for food. You had stress and you got violent. You got angry. That is the spirit. That's a spirit doing that. And you have the authority through the blood of Christ, the word of God, and the power of the Holy Ghost to drive that thing out of your body right now. You have the authority of God to drive that demon out right now. No more porn. No more food. No more rage. No more rage. No more. No more. No more. You're not doing it anymore. No more. Thus saith the Lord. If you had an uncontrollable urge to do something that was wrong, that is a spirit. If you got angry at somebody, if somebody verbally abused you, and you felt insulted and degraded, and you felt your stomach, your chest, something in there tightening up, and you had an urge to punch that person's lights out, and I mean now, that is a spirit, that's a spirit telling you to retaliate, and if you don't get him out of there, your future is shot. Your future is hosed. 
You're not going to make it. You cannot become a double-minded Christian. You cannot do that. You cannot be up today and then down tomorrow. You can't do that. That is a spirit. That's a double-minded spirit. Praising the Lord on Monday. Cursing on Tuesday. That is a double-minded spirit. That is a spirit in your brain. You got to turn on him. You got to get him out right now. You got to get him out right now. You get so mad, you actually could hit somebody. That's how mad you get. That's how angry you get. You can hit them. You don't do it because you know it's wrong, but that urge to punch them in the face, that's a spirit. That's an anger spirit. Anger spirits are easy to get out. If you repent, they'll come right out. Lord Jesus, I am so sorry. I got a temper problem. I got anger problems. I got lust problems. I've allowed this spirit in my body. I've allowed him in there. I've allowed him in there. Come out of there. Come on out. Come on. Let's get the rest of them out. Those are the weaker ones yawning out. Spirit, come out of me right now. Come on out. Come out of there. Get out of my body, I said. There he is. Come out of my body. Come out, Kundalini. There he is. Come out of there, you witch. Get out of my body. Come out of there right now. Come out. Come out of there. Come out of there. Right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Hurry up. Come out. I told you I hate you. I hate you. Come out of my body right now. I hate you. Come out of there. Come on now. Satan, lose your hold of me. Satan, lose your hold of me. Do you have tingling in your hands? Do you have tingling in your hands? Tingling. You pray for somebody and you go, hey, I got tingling. That must be the Holy Spirit. It's not. It's a demon. Did you used to be a shoplifter? Were you a fornicator? Did you sin with your hands? Did you sin with your hands? Did you steal? Did you steal with your hands? Now when you pray somebody, you got tingling in your hands. That is not the Holy Ghost. Tingling in your hands. That's a spirit manifesting from masturbation, from stealing, from adultery. You sinned with your hands. You sinned with your hands. Get them out of there. Shake your hands. YouTubers, shake your hands and command that spirit to come out of your fingers. The devil told you it was your anointing. Oh, your hands are tingling. Oh, my goodness. I'm so anointed. That's a crock of crap. They're lying again. They're lying again. You're tingling, all right, because the Holy Spirit's manifesting them. Come out! Come out of my hands right now, you masturbating pervert. Come out of my hands, you porn. Come out of my hands, kundalini. Kundalini. Oh, I pray every time I pray in church, my hands vibrate. I pray in church and my hands vibrate. It's God anointing. It's not God. That's not God. Okay, you're not a traffic cop. You're not a traffic cop. That's a spirit manifesting. Your body jerks whenever you start praying. Ho! Oh, oh my gosh, my body jerking. My body, yeah. Okay. You know, that's, the, that's a kundalini spirit manifesting. That's a kundalini spirit manifesting. Stop jerking around. Okay? Stop jerking around at church. You're transferring demons to other people. Stop putting your hands on other people while they're vibrating. My hands are vibrating. Oh my goodness. Vibrating. Yeah. Vi it's better to cut your hands off than to go to hell with two hands. 
It's better to cut your hands off than go into hell with two hands. Come on now. Kundalini spirits, they give you weird sensations. Weird sensations. Every time the anointing comes on me, Brother Mike, I get cold. I feel cold. You feel cold? You got to be kidding. That's a spirit manifesting. Cold is not God. Cold is not God. It's a spirit. You picked up a transfer. You picked up a transfer. Come on now. Oh, God, have mercy. Did you go through a prayer tunnel or a fire tunnel? Did you? Oh, my God, no. These people put their hands on you. They transferred something in there. You don't know where these people have been. What's wrong with you? You don't let people put their hands on you. You don't know who they are. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Stop it. Repent of it. I repent of going through a prayer tunnel and a fire tunnel. I repent. I went down to the altar and Todd Bentley prayed for me. Sid Roth prayed for me. Oh my God. Come on now. We got to get these demons out. Out. Come out. Come out. Lord God, I pray for the gift of hate tonight. I pray for hate. The glorious gift of hate. Hate. Hate is an enormous anointing. Thus saith the Lord, you must hate what God hates. And you must love what God loves. If, you're, if you've got mental illness demons, or you've got symptoms of spirits, and you're going to do nothing about it, you're screwed. You're screwed. You can kiss your future goodbye. When that thing manifested, that was God loving you, telling you, this thing's got to go. This thing has got to go. You cannot sit there and have a psychiatrist tell you you're mentally ill and do nothing about it. Come on now. You can't do that. You've got to get them out. You've got to get them out. If you are shy and introverted and you've got anxiety and you're afraid to do public speaking, you're afraid to talk to people, and uh, people scare you, certain types of people scare you, that is a fear demon. Come on now. You don't fear any man. You've got the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has never had a fear. He doesn't have fears. He doesn't know what fear is unless he sees it in us. You're timid. You're an introvert. You're shy. That is a coward spirit. That's a coward demon. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. The Greek word for fear is dalia. That verse was mistranslated. It's coward. God has not given you a coward spirit. So if you have a spirit and you know it's in there, and somebody told you you're mentally ill and you're not doing anything about it, you're in deep trouble, friend. You're in danger of a reprobate mind. <coughs> a reprobate mind. You have got to do something about it. You've got to fight back. You cannot be passive. You have to fight back. If, if you want me to pray for you, 
I will, but you're not going to like the prayer. I'm going to ask God to do whatever he has to do to get you to change. Okay? I rarely, rarely pray that prayer. You know why? Trauma hits the person soon after I pray that prayer. God rattles their tree, and I don't like to see it. Because sometimes it's bad, like an accident, like an illness, like severe pain, like something will happen to you. What should you do? Take care of it now of your own free will. Do it now without that prayer. Lord Jesus, my God, help me. Lord Jesus, my God, help me. Lord, help. Help. Help me, Lord. Are there any blind Barnabas here tonight? Come on now. Are there anybody with the guts of blind Barnabas? Anybody? You heard him. He got a miracle from God. By doing what? Sitting there saying nothing? What? No! Lord Jesus, help! Help! Blind Bartimaeus, help! Help! The Bible says Jesus stood still. He stopped dead in his tracks. He said, who's that guy yelling at me? Who's yelling at me? Nobody else got healed that day. Blind Bartimaeus was the only healing. Everybody else went home blind. Come on now. Blind Bartimaeus. Lord Jesus, help. Help. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. The people said to him, be of good cheer. He calls for you. He calls for you. Jesus would have ignored him just like he did every other blind person that day when nobody did anything. Nobody said anything. Nobody fought back. Come on now, the woman with the issue of blood, she pushed her way through the crowd. She was dying, weak as a kitten, bleeding her life out of her cervix cancer, blood pouring out of her vagina, death only hours away. She pushed her way through the crowd. She fought for her life. Is anybody listening to me? YouTubers, are you listening to me? The woman with the issue of blood fought for her life. Her faith drove her through that crowd. She said, if I just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. To get to the hem of the garment, she had to go through a mob of people to get there. Will you fight for your life? Yes or no? If it's no, you go home sick. You go home sick. Come back next week. Come back next week. But tonight, if you'll fight like blind Bartimaeus, the dying leper left the valley of the lepers and risked his life. He could have been stoned. He risked his life coming to Jesus. He said, Lord, if you want to, if you want to, you can make me whole. And Jesus said, I want to. God always wants to heal those who are desperate for miracles from God. If you're desperate for a miracle, God will heal you. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Are you desperate? Desperate for a miracle from God. Lord Jesus, help me. Do you remember the two blind men? Do you remember the two blind men? They were tracking Jesus. They were tracking him right through the crowd. 
blind as bats. How do you attract somebody when you're blind? You follow them by sound. You follow them through desperation. Two blind men following Jesus, desperate for a miracle from God. Nobody else got healed, just them two blind men. How come nobody else got healed? Jesus run out of power? Not in the mood? Oh, far from it, friend. Far from it, friend. The Holy Ghost was teaching you that desperation is the key to miracles from God. Desperation. Desperation. The dying leper. The two blind men. Blind Bartimaeus. The woman with cervix cancer, bleeding to death, bleeding out, pushed her way through the crowd. She touched the hem of his garment. Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens, they're light. Why are the burdens light? Because he carries them for you. The burdens are light because he carries them for you. Ten lepers. The ten lepers. Ten lepers healed. Ten lepers healed. One came back for a Holy Ghost ministry. One came back. Ten got healed. Nine disappeared. One came back for a Holy Ghost ministry. One came back to surrender all. Nine left. One came back. One leper. Ten were healed. One came back. Are you that one? Are you the one who will fight? Are you the one who will give it all? Will you sacrifice everything you have? Will you make your move? Ten of them. Nine said no. Nine said no. Nine left. Ten got healed and nine left. One came back for a Holy Ghost ministry. One out of ten. Are you that one? Are you that God? God is looking for that one. Not the ten. Not the ten. The other nine were a dime a dozen. One. One. God's looking for one. Somebody. Somebody. Needs to be that one. Somebody needs to turn their back on their sin. Somebody needs to change how they think, change how they live, change their attitude, repent of their sins. Somebody needs to become the one. God's calling for one. He had ten. Nine got filtered out. Nine filtered out. One came back. What about it? Are you, are you the one? Ten. Ten got healed. Nine were busy doing other things. Oh, they had friends. They had a life. Oh, they had to get their career going. Oh, they had they needed this and they needed that. One said, one said, I need a Holy Ghost ministry. I want a Holy Ghost ministry. I'll sacrifice all for it. Everything for the one. One out of ten. Come on. Blind Bartimaeus fought for his healing. Come on now. He fought for his healing. How do you fight? I'll show you how to do it. You put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your chest. Come on, YouTubers. Put your hand right there. And you take authority over that sickness in your body. Cancer, I bind your power. You evil power, I bind you. 
and I command you. I'm not going to ask you or negotiate a deal. I'm commanding you. Come out. Arthritis, you stinking spirit of infirmity, scoliosis, rheumatoid. I command you to come out of my joints. Grab your joint. Grab that spot where it's hurting. Come on, you YouTubers. Put your hand right there. These signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That's what it says in Mark chapter 16. Read it if you don't believe me. Don't take my word for it. Read it yourself. These signs shall follow them. That they shall lay hands on the sick. That means you can lay hands on yourself. YouTubers, lay your hands on yourself. Where's your pain at? Knees? Okay. Knees. Boom. Low back? Okay. Lay your hand on Shoulder. I command you, you spirit of infirmity. Arthritis. Rheumatoid. Scoliosis. You spirit of witchcraft and sorcery. From my grandparents, my great-grandparents. Sorcery. Come out of my back. Leave my spine. Spine, I command you, straight. Straighten. Come on, ladies, you got plumbing problems, ovary problems, tube problems, everything going on in your gut. Put your hands down there. I command you, you foul devil of adultery, child molestation, rape. Come on, ladies, were you raped? If you were raped, a spirit transferred into your body from the rapist. Rapists are distributors of spirits. If you got raped, you got date raped, those spirits just transfer right in. They transfer right in. Are you a victim of incest? Did your brother get to you? Did your older sister do you? Did your older sister come for you? Okay. She had lust demons. It transferred in. Your older brother transferred them in. Come on now. Take your authority. Number one, just forgive them. Father God, I pray for my rapist. I pray for my brother and sister incest. I pray for them, Lord. I ask you to bless them. My stepdad fondled me. My dad had sex with me, and I forgive them. Thus saith the Lord, if you will not forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will not forgive you yours. Let me tell you something. You cannot afford to go through life without your trespasses. Forgive me. Forgive and take my word on that one. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. You're going to have family problems, health problems, financial problems. You're going to start a business. It goes good for a while. Then it takes a dump. You're going to get a job. It'll go good for a while. Then you're going to get laid off or fired. You know the routine. You don't have to listen to me anymore. You know the routine. You've got to forgive them. You've got to do it. There's no way to get out of it. You've got to forgive them. You got to forgive yourself. That's as bad as not forgiving somebody else. You got to forgive yourself. Self pity is a cancer. I screwed up. I failed. I lost money. I, I should have taken that job. I shouldn't have taken this one. I should have gone to school. I should have did this. I should have did that. If this, what about that? If 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 what what what? Ha ha ha! ha. Stop! Forgive yourself right now so you can be healed. Just forgive yourself. Yeah, you married a psycho. Yeah, you shouldn't have left that job. I get it. You made mistakes. Everybody does. Nobody's condemning you. Your Heavenly Father forgave you. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. No condemnation. Krino, Greek word, krino, judgment. You are not being judged by God. You are being extended mercy. There is therefore now no judgment 
to those who are in Christ. Romans 8, chapter, verse 1. Romans 8, verse 1. Come on now. Forgive yourself. You made mistakes. You screwed up. Yeah, you shouldn't have married her. Yeah, you married her and hell came to breakfast. You married him. Oh my God. It was a nightmare. I get it. I get it. Everybody has a bad marriage. You're divorced now. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. God will heal you. God will heal you. Come on, just forgive yourself. Criticizing yourself is as bad as criticizing others. Criticizing yourself is as bad in the eyes of God as criticizing others. Okay? You can't self-criticism, self-negativity, self-condemnation is a cancer. Okay. You're rehearsing your regrets in your mind. You're not rehearsing them. That's a spirit telling you to remember your failures, remember your faults, remember your screw-ups. There it is, over and over again. They replay it in your mind. They replay it in your mind, telling you, hey, think about this, think about that, think about that's a spirit in your head. These signs shall follow them that believe. Put your hands on your head. YouTubers, put your hands on your head. And command that, put your hands on your forehead. He's right there. Put your hands up there. I command you, you lying spirit. Brother Mike went over it tonight. Lying spirits right up on the screen. You lying devil. You lying spirit. I command you. Come out. Come out right now. Take a big breath and blow. Take a breath and blow. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Put your hands on your head. If you've been diagnosed with a mental illness, put your hands on your head. Come out. If somebody at church put their hands on you and you picked up a transfer or a kundalini, you don't need that demon cast out. Okay, you need to find out what demon sucked you in to that person that ministered to you. Did you hear what I said? YouTubers, I'm talking to you then. If somebody put their hands on you at church, and transfer the spirit into you, or you picked up a kundalini from somebody, the kundalini is not your problem. The demon that deceived you to go get prayer from that man, that's the demon you better get out. That's the one you get out. Not the transfer. The one that tricked you into getting sucked into that ministry, and that person, that preacher, that prophetess, that prophet, all these other fake terms everybody runs around with. I'm a prophet and a prophetess. Stop it. Stop. Stop. The kundalini isn't the main demon. That's the one you picked up at church. The main spirit is the one that tricked you to going to that church. The one that tricked you into getting prayer from that person. That's the one you got to get out. Because if you get the kundalini demon out, the one that's still in there will lead you somewhere else. Just like he did last time. I can't be the only person thinking about this stuff. Demons work in teams. They work together. Unlike Christians. Christians don't work together. They work by themselves. They work in small groups. Demons don't do that. They work together. A deceiving spirit will tell you, go down and get that prayer from that preacher. That preacher will put their hands on you and transfer a spirit into your body. Now you've got a transfer spirit, familiar spirits, kundalini spirit, church demon, some weird spirit got in. That spirit is not your problem. The one that told you to go down there and get prayer from that person, that's the controller. That's the monster. Isn't anybody listening to me? I'm going to go talk to the wall for a little bit. Hey, listen to me. 
The demon is not the kundalini spirit. Are you listening to me? Is it, This thing's not listening either. <clears throat> the smarter spirit is the one that draws you in. That's the monster. The drawer. He set it up. The kundalini was the jump. It jumped from him or her yeah, into you. Okay. The devil that told you to listen to that person, that told you to believe their words, that's the controller. That's the IQ monster. That's the smart one. There's the smart one. That's him. That's the one you got to get out. That's him. Can you get him out? Yeah. Once you realize you have him and you figured it out and he's the one that tricked you. See, it's not the splash. It's not the splash. It's the spirit that told you to jump. I'll talk to this thing. It's not the splash. When you jump in the pool, the splash isn't the problem. The splash isn't the problem. It's the one that told you to jump. That's the killer. That's it. Did you hear me? YouTubers. YouTube. I'll go to YouTube. Demons are smart. They work in pairs, groups, couples. What's wrong with that girl? What's wrong with you, hon? My stomach. My stomach. When it was. It's in pain. Oh, good. Now, when did that start? Um, every time that I get prayers, I get better, but um, I ate at work. No, when, when did it first start? Um, this year, in January. January, and what was going on back then? How'd that thing get in there? Uh, I think it says, I, when I was a kid, I um, had the same pain. When I was 14, 15 years old, I had the same pain. I, oh, okay. Now, what my, happened at 14 or 15? Was somebody my, hurting you? My mom, my mom used to um, oh. abuse me. Uh, her, uh, what was her name? Rosa. Rosa. Yeah, that's not from a year ago. It's from your childhood. It's Rosa. There it is. There's Rosa. Rosa, come out. Get out of body right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out of body right now. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Rosa, come out of her. Every demon from her mother must go. Get Rosa out of there. You see that? You go back to the root of the problem. She comes up and she says to me, this gal here, I got a pain in my stomach. Okay, that's not the problem. It's not the pain in the stomach. That's a symptom of the problem. When you go to the doctor, you tell the doctor, hey, hey, I got this problem, I got that problem. He goes, no. No, that's a symptom of the problem. I got to run a bunch of diagnostic tests to find out what your real problem is. I just diagnosed that girl over there. See, I'm like an emergency room physician. I don't I'll talk to you for a minute. Now, listen, I'm like emergency room physician. You got to diagnose the real problem, not the symptoms. Her mother was the problem. What about the ink of the spirit? What about the ink of the spirit? No. 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 What happened? When I was like five years old, mm -hmm. someone used to come in our house and like near their footsteps. And I, a person or a spirit? I don't know. Oh. I have a feeling it was my mother's boyfriend. Who oh. Ended up being a rapist later on. Did he come after you? He, he touched my butt. Uh -huh. You what age? Um, I was like eight. Eight? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And then. But I was, I would just shake. With that fear spirit and put the covers on my head. Like you're yeah, but you were how old when you heard him walking? That was like five. Now, what was that guy's name? Prentice. Prentice. Prentice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Now just relax your body. Okay. Take a big breath. Had a girl. Prentice, come out. You pervert. Come out of her body right now. There he is. Prentice, come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Come on out right now, quickly. Come out. Come out of there. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now, you demon of fear. Come out of the body right now. 
Come out of her throat. Come out of her throat. Quickly, come up. Come on up. Come up. Come out of the woman of God. Come out of her throat. There he comes. Here he comes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hold that. Hold that. Hold, come out right now. Come out. There he is. He's coming out right now. There they go. Prentice. It was a fear spirit from Prentice. Come out of that body quickly. Come out quick. Quicker. Come out quickly. Come out. Evil spirit of fear. Food demons, I bind your power. Food, come out. Diabetes, high blood pressure. Come out of her body. Come out right now. Leave her body right now. Come up. Come up. Come out. I place a curse of failure. Obesity. Food spirits. Eating for comfort. Come out in Jesus' name. Get out of her body right now. Come out of her feet. There they come. Prentice, come out of her. Anxiety eating. Food demons. Go. There they go. Thank you, Jesus. Prentice, come out of the woman of God. Go now. Stop stomping around her house. Stop stomping on her soul. Stop stomping on her heart. Come out of there. Come out of there, sinking devil. Come out. Quickly. Come out. Go. Go. She commands you to come out. She hates your guts. She commands you to come out. She commands you to go. I forgive every ugly man that ever touched my body. All of them. I forgive all of these bad men. All of them. I forgive all of them. Every one of them. I command adultery spirits to come out. Oral sex demons. Come out of my mouth. Quickly, come out of my body right now. Oral sex. Anal sex. Come out right now. Come out of that body right now. You pervert. You lousy pervert. Come out right now. Quickly. Quicker. Come out of her spine. Come out. Hurry up. Get out of there. Come out of there. Quickly. Quickly. Hurry up. There they come. Thank you, Jesus. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come out. Every ugly man, all of them. All these bad men. I can't take it anymore. Go now. All these bad men. Go now. Come out. Every spirit of medication. I command you to come out of that body right now. Medications. Oh, get out of there. Come out. Come out of there, you wizard. Go. Come out of there quickly. Prentice, come out of my body right now. Leave me now. Hurry up. Come on out of there. Quickly. Quicker. Go. Quicker. Quicker. Get out of that body right now. Get on my feet. Come on my tummy. Come on my genitals. Come on my breast right now. Come on my breast. Quickly. Hurry up. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. You get out of my back right now. Stop that. Back pain. Come out right now. Quickly. Come out. Quicker. Come out right now. Heal. Heal in Jesus' holy name. Come out of them hips. Come out of them hips right now. Come out of your kidneys. Come out of them kidneys. Hurry up. Get out of that back. You come out of her coccyx right now. L45, clear. Clear. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Go. Go in Jesus' name. There they go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out of there. Come out of there. Check your back out. Anything? Anything? Your back still hurts? It felt, it felt like, like power on my back, almost like, like glory or something. It felt weighty. Cause, cause Is it demons, still hurting? The demons broke my back. What happened? They broke your back. How? Um, I was, I squatted down and I was pulling something out of the freezer. 
and um, one day he said, When was that? This is about six years ago. Oh, okay. And then, uh, you sit over here. And then when I stood up, I felt two like spiritual knives in my back. Super. And three days later, scoop, my scoop back. Locked up, and the doctor said it was broken. It's still broke. Is there a fracture? Um, pars defect. Which vertebrae? Oh, okay. <clears throat> and it's All like right. a bone is missing where it connects. Okay, let me check something out here just okay. for fun, okay? And, and the demon's been cutting my ankles with hot razors, too. That's why they're swollen. And then it's swollen right here, too. I, I can feel a movement in my legs, the demons. And they constantly touch my private parts. <clears throat> Is this leg a little longer than that one? Is this leg a little longer than that one? I don't know because I'm bow legged, so possibly it's fine. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Now, listen. Was any of your parents and grandparents in witchcraft or anything like that? Yeah, I'm a granddaughter of a Native American chief. Was he in, go to, did you go to a shaman or something? I went to a palm reader, but um, At what age? I never met him. I just heard about him. He was a, a Native American chief. You went to a palm reader? What age was that? Um, like 14 or 15. And then when did you start getting sick? Were you born that way or was yeah, come in later? In the um, I had like seven surgeries and I died for two Now what age was that? Um, age 10. Okay, so were you born normal? No, I was born with no girls around my rectum, so for 10 years I didn't know when to go to the bathroom. I had to get a colostomy bag okay. for like a whole year okay. because um, they had to cut my rectum open <clears throat> and take out my bowels. So. Was your mother ill? No. Grandma? Just me. Was she sick? Mm -hmm. Grandma? Um, my grandma had diabetes. How about your dad? Was your dad sick? Um, he just died. No, when you were young. Was your dad sick? Just was me. your grandpa? Nope. Now, when your mom was pregnant, did anybody, were you a wanted child? Um, she was pregnant. Or were you an oops? Did anybody curse your mother when you were, when she was pregnant? Um, nope. nope. So you were born with that problem, and then later on you developed what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then what do you have now? Colostomy bag? No, they put it back after a year. Oh, now you have a normal rectum now? Well, do you go to the bathroom? But it's still, still constipated. It's like, it doesn't seem like, like normal people. Okay, hold on a minute. <clears throat> you got me on this one. Now listen, I can't exactly figure this one out. It doesn't make any sense. It's got to be witchcraft. Yeah, well, I know that I did met a, la a lady in my house who was a daughter of a witch. When was that? Um, when I was 19. And when yeah, but you had already had these problems before that. But, but that night when she left, the demon jumped on me. No, another one jumped on you. Huh? Another one jumped on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. What was her name? Her name was Olga, and uh, her mom was from Mexico, so it was probably those Aztec. Olga? Aztec. Olga. Why was she there? I invited, I noticed something was strange about her, and I was zealous, and I wanted to cast out the devil, but I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, go ahead and repent of it. And, and then she became paralyzed. Okay. After she came to my house, she became paralyzed. Yeah. It's like we made the no. demons mad, and they attacked her. She was paralyzed no. Yeah, but... You gotta repent. It doesn't matter what happened to her. You wanted her to come in, you invited her there, you had a reason for it. What was it? Um, I wanted to help 
help her is I thought that she had doodles in her because she had like like beady eyes and I was a baby fisher and so I, I brought her to my house so she could watch Mary Lee cast out a devil no Dwight Thompson cast out a devil I don't know if you've seen that video that was going around with Dwight Thompson I thought if I show her that then we could pray and get the demon out of her yeah and said you got one yeah. All right. Close your eyes there. Olga. Every evil, wicked spirit from Olga that transferred into her from being spiritually ignorant. She wanted to help her Lord. She did it out of a good heart. The devil tricked her into going into ministry when she was not prepared. She's repented of it and has asked for forgiveness and you forgave her. And today, Olga has to come out of her body in Jesus' name. Come on. Get out of there. Come on. Olga, come out of there, quickly. No, something just touched my private body. Olga, come out of there, quickly, right now. Come out right now. Breathe. Olga, come out. Come out, Olga. Come out of there. Incubus spirit, I bind your power. Let go of her. Every curse from Olga. Every curse from Olga. In Jesus' name. Let go of her. Let go of her. Let go. The demon that caused her rectum to malfunction, the spirit that entered her in the womb, spirit from the womb, come up now, come up now, come out of there right now, let go of her body, let go of her legs, you spirit of pain, come out of her calves right now, spirit of pain, lose your hold over her body. Loose your hold over her body, you demon of pain. I curse you right now and I command you come out. I bind your power, I command you to come out. You demon of pain. Demon of pain. Loose her body, loose her body right now. You demon of demonic perversion. Loose her vagina right now. Loose it right now. Come out right now. Come on out, here he comes. Here he comes right now. Come out of there quickly. Come out, you were told to go. Let's go. Quickly, come out. Come out of there. Come out. Let go of her legs. Let go of her body. Let go, Satan. Loose your hold, Satan. You get out of that body right now. Come out of there. Get out of my body. I hate you. Every spirit from Olga, go. Heal in Jesus' holy name. Heal. 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 Shut up and come out right now. Come on in hips. Come on in hips. Yeah, there he is. Come out of that body right now. There he comes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on out. Get out of that body, you pervert. Come out of there right now. Let's go. Come on, lift out. Lift out quickly and go. Familiar spirits, I bind your power. You come out to, you get out too. There he comes. Get out of there. Come out, you man hater. Come out of that body right now. Come out of there right now, you demon of insanity. Come out. Come out of there quickly. Come out of there right now. Shut up and come out of there. Nobody wants to hear from you. Come out of her lips right now. You pervert. Come out of there right now. Quickly. Quickly come out. Quick. Leave now. Leave now. Every demon from her shamans. Native American witchcraft. Native American witchcraft. Every spirit from shamanism. Come out right now. Every spirit from a foreign country, you're bound. Come out right now. Come on out, quickly. 
Come on right now. She commands you to go. Get out of her joints. Let go of her joints. Let go of her intestines. Let go of her joints. Let go right now. Loose her body. Loose her body. She commands you to go in the name of Jesus. She commands you in Jesus' name to go. Olga, you come out of her right now. She commands you to leave her forever. Forever in Jesus' holy name. You speak in tongues? Brumusha drama. Menomusha drava shatneva. Yagdonto musha draseve. Gelo musha drasa. Ero musha trevia. Amusha draseve. Ola mama shandrasa vasita. Get out of my body right now in the name of the Lord. I use my authority and my faith to drive you out from my family tree. Every demon that hit me in the womb from my family tree, come out now. Come out of my body now. Every spirit that stole my life, stole everything, money, love, happiness, fulfillment, every spirit that robbed me and raped me, Get out of my body in the name of the Lord. Bondre mushandra savasa. Elo mashatri mushateve. Yamushandra sava. Vekura shanda. Endo mushandra. Do you speak in tongues? I used to. Okay, go ahead. Now just pray after me. Koya masha. Velo shati, eko mama, vada mashe, beko tuhu, trupasha, keep speaking, kuntro moshata. Speak it out. E moshandri moshadra sasumo. Keep going. Gola mashandara mashandara vasitrave, bendara moshandara vasha. Speak it out. Come on now. Atoromo, at a girl. Andara moshanda, keep going. Undra moshatra moshatre voshadri mo. Andu moshandra mo mo. Come out. Then moshatra sa at a girl. Rara moshandara bashandara vasidiriya. Ala moshandara vasidiriya. At a girl. Keep speaking. Don't stop. Keep going. Kola moshandra moshatra vasatiriya. Gala moshandri mo. I'm trying to get her tongues going. Ramasha. Hey, can you help this gal speak in tongues? Can you help that gal speak in tongues with Rowan? <clears throat> YouTubers. YouTubers. Are you still there? I hope you're still there. Listen to me now. The healing service is tomorrow at 6 o'clock right here in the main sanctuary. It's going to be a blowout. Major blowout tomorrow. The Holy Ghost is going to go on a rampage. He did the last time we had it. Of course, he'll do it again. Six o'clock here tomorrow. Please don't miss it. Please remember our Zoom services. We have Zoom services every week. Okay? Monday night for the ladies. Monday night for the ladies. Okay? Wednesday night for everybody. You can get healed or delivered right on the Zoom service. If you send me an email, mike at hardcorechristianity.com, I'll send you the code and the password. I'll send it out right away. <laughs> good service. Good to see you. Good to see you. Love that you. was a good service. Well, thank you. I kind of fell asleep in the car. Oh, you did? Oh, nuts. That's okay. Love you. Please remember our Zoom services. Send me an email, mike at hardcorechristianity.com, and I'll send you the code and the password. Can't afford to miss these services. Tuesday night, the ladies' meeting is here in the main sanctuary. 
It starts at 6.30. The Monday night Zoom service also starts at 6.30. Love you. Starts at 6.30. Mountain time. Arizona time. 8.30 on the East Coast. Tonight, go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. Read the two articles I always recommend, How Satan Controls the Mind and Satan's Counterattack. You will be hit within... 48 hours of this service They will hit you and try and steal everything you learned and every demon that left your body and Every pain that left your body tonight. They will try and steal it and put it back. You cannot afford to do that Those two articles will save you Tomorrow night the Holy Ghost on a rampage 6 p.m. Right here at the Arizona Delivery Center We will not have any bathrooms for the service have to use the bathrooms next door at the Healing House, our residential facility. May God richly bless you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the seminar tonight. See you next time.